Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be watching the worst episodes of Steven Universe and doing a drinking game. You can see the rules on screen now and in the description. If you want us to watch more Steven Universe and get into future, then get this video to 10,000 likes. And we're joined by our friend Funz. Let's go! <sighs> White people be like, and yeah, subscribe. We are the crystal gems. Oh, this is the shitty version of the song. Are uh, they singing, are we supposed to drink? Oh, fuck it. And Steven! Take a drink. Huh? Why? <laughs> Every time they say Steven. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Ranger Guy? Excuse me? Ranger Guy, one of my guys. He's so gay at the beginning of the show. Bro, motherfucker wears a dress in season five. He's always been gay. There's Ninja Guy, Construction Guy, Cop Guy. I like this episode. This is one of the worst episodes. I like this one. Yeah, this one has a 6.7 on IMDb. What? This one's awesome. People just hate Onion, because Onion is the best character in the show, and the fans are afraid to admit it. Then why haven't you found my magic axe? I haven't looked for it yet. Amethyst, go and find it. Okay, Pearl completely changed the size in between those two shots. Take a drink. Stop it! Dave Guy! Ranger Guy! <laughs> is, is Dave Guy just like a middle management, like sad Dwight <laughs> Schrute type person? He's doing the office gacha. Oh, Onion! Onion appears! Drink! Oh, man. Hey, good looking. Whoa, star, star, star eyes. eyes. Oh, fuck. How would you like to trade that boring old ranger guy for a brand spanking new day guy? This is me pitching my common Meow Scarta for like an EX or some shit. You basically spoken another language there for five seconds to me. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> but there aren't any more. The machine's empty. I bought them all. He's just robbing people. Onion, Onion is the type to rob someone and then put it up on Facebook Marketplace immediately <laughs> and, and make double the profits. That's my boy. He just like me for real, bro. <laughs> He's just like, oh, you're admitting to a fucking crime right now? Uh. You can use it to make copies of stuff. What the fuck is this kid's problem? Jesus, oh my God. He's going, why don't people like Onion? He blew up, he fucking blew up a Segway. Look at him, he's so fucking cool. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that was hard as fuck. This is the hardest shot ever. What is it that you want? He wants to duplicate his father so his father can spend some time with him. Is that the end of the episode? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god! I don't remember this episode being so scary. Oh, that's some like creepypasta shit. Oh, no. He's so big! <laughs> He's so big! Okay, do we have to drink for that? Yeah, we have to drink for that. Bro ate a mega mushroom. Darn it! I'm not cleaning up this mess. Is that how that works? You break it and everything goes away? Damn, so even his duplicated father disappeared too. Just like he does in his daily life. We are the crystal gems. We'll always be gay. And Steven! Take a drink. Mm. Yeah. Help me, save me, help me! Oh, this is one of the most controversial episodes. Isn't this my favorite character, the goat? Uh, what's his name again? Ronaldo or something? Yeah, he was modeled after Jack. It's Steven Tag. Steven tagged you. Now you have to turn into Steven. Steven, Steven. <laughs> she said Steven twice. Okay, just big one, I guess. I guess I finished the bottle. Tag. I like Fruity Steven. Look at Fruity Steven and look <laughs> at like Gamer Steven. They bring this back in future. Steven tag is like an iconic, very important part of the show. I guess I can't win every game of Steven tag. They keep saying his name. We're dead. We're, it's over. See those holes? Their shape and pattern is repeated over and over. Their shape, it seems like it was made for me. <laughs> this is a Junji Ito manga. Oh no. I say there's something more. You'd already be in the know if you followed my blog. I've been keeping it weird by sticking my dick in every hole there is. Bro, you ain't got nothing on dog with a blog, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that fucking fruity <laughs> skip he did. That counts as gay. That's a big sip. Okay, I'll take. Oh my god, funds died. <laughs> we lost funds. Snake people! Snake people? 
or Sneeple. <laughs> Sounds like he's saying nipple. Truth is searching for anything that proves you're right, no matter how small, and holding on to that. I love that. What, was this just the Steven U Universe writers talking to all the fan theorists? I'm really not at the center of anything. It's extra sad because all the episodes he is at the center of people fucking hate. <laughs> Don't feel bad about it, okay? It's not like he was ever going to be right. Look at <laughs> The way he's animated in this episode is insane. He looks like a fucking 45 year old like housewife who let herself go. <laughs> wakey wakey Mr. Snakey. This is fucked up. It's such a shit disguise too. What's this for? For me! In case the amphibonoids turn my body into a host vessel! I don't remember the message of this episode. Are they gonna agree that being delusional is good? Is that, like, gonna be the message? Hello. We know you have our Steven! Take a drink. Everybody stop! I'm okay! Nice pants. That's a gay moment. I know what the diamond means. Polymorphic sentient rocks! You sure will be better like that? Yeah, he's happy, you know? What is the message of this episode? This episode sucks! Oh no. They were doing the Windows Movie Maker intro well before Owl House. Think about it. Owl House copied this shit, bro. Take a closer look and you'll start to notice the cracks in the facade. The editing's crazy. We should hire this guy. We should hire this guy to be an editor. We should hire this guy to be a host. Just replace all of us. My mission? Keep Beach City weird. And also to expose the truth. Baby, maybe? Bro, what the fuck? Literally made a Steven pregnant theory? He's an obese child. You're not in a position to talk, Ronaldo. You're like twice as fat as Steven. I ran outside and saw this great big thing in the sky. That's called God woman you're about to die that's why you're seeing the grim reaper this feels like a vice documentary if it was edited by a 13 year old was this the highest rated episode yeah this has a 9.4 on imdb if i were to guess this is the lowest rated episode rock though is we've got some glory ahead of us oh no i know that episode i know that episode wasn't it steven's family i i think they pretty much keep to themselves Steven says they protect the planet. They're saying Steven a lot. This drink game's fucked up, man. We drink every time they say Steven. It's actually bad. Oh, definitely not. And there it was. Steven's black? They just made Steven black. Steven's black now? What? They were putting us in danger. I had no choice but to lay bare this ugly truth. Dude, I just realized Ronaldo is literally the shitty Steven Universe analysis channels being like, actually, Steven's evil and wrong because he didn't kill the diamonds in cold blood. This is the ER episode. Ronaldo is ER. Is it really okay for us to be lurking around here like this? We're not lurking, we're investigating. Jack, how would you feel if you waited a week for this episode? I think I did. I was watching the show weekly at this time. And you loved this episode. I think I hated this episode. <laughs> we were here long long before Beach City even existed. Who cares how long you've been here? Bro, Ronaldo does not fuck with indigenous people. They were like, we've been here way longer than Beach City. He's like, who fucking cares? He's Christopher Columbus showing up on the shores. Stay and keep this town weird. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. Like actually kill yourself, Ronaldo. He, he, he went to the cliff to kill himself. I listened to Jackie's boy and spilling the milk and now I'm gonna do the duty I should have done a long time ago. I think we're the only ones. See? Hmm. Click. Aww, that's wholesome. I really want someone to just re-edit the episode and then the only different thing is that he clicks hate at the end. Please, editor, please do that. Click. We are the Crimble Gem. Take a drink. What? What? For what? They're singing. Steven! Oh, drink. Mozzarella sticks with all the fixins? With all the fixins? Marinara sauce. Is that all the fixins? Is one sauce? Bread? 
cheese, marinara sauce, the basic elements of a pizza. Is the entire strip of the city fighting over one fat kid's stomach? He's the only customer. The economy is fighting over Steven's giant stomach. And if it gets filled up too much, they fucking fight. That's the entire basis. My dad and Kofi signed an agreement to not steal each other's business when I fried up those mozzarella sticks. They literally made an anti-competition agreement. That's just pushing for corporations having more control. That's fucked up. I was the one who wanted to shake things up. Oh, yeah. It's your fault. It's Jack? Oh my god, it was Pizza Jack. PD was in the Pizza Jack costume. Was that your inspiration? That was my inspiration. I watched this episode and I was like, I, this is my favorite episode of Steven Universe. I have to dress up like him. You must sign these papers and pledge your allegiance to fish stew pizza. Kofi is funny. The way he's got the fucking crazy ass like cone head. Well, he made his hair like a slice of pizza. What do you say at the barber to get that shit? You forgot your pizza, bitch. Huh? Steven, let me reward you for being such a good customer. Steven got assaulted as a child. He never addresses this in Steven Universe future. He's been assaulted as a child. Yeah, you didn't get over the trauma from Kofi. You're sitting next to each other. Where are you going with this, Steven? You guys should pretend to be in love. I like he just, his inspiration was, you're sitting next to each other. Ronaldo probably has a crush on them already, that fucking free. We can't do this because I have a girlfriend. Where's she at, though? She goes to another school. <laughs> she goes to another school. She lives in Canada. Like, you can't see her. Ever since this war started, I've had to spend countless hours away from my beloved Kiki. What? The acting is crazy. And the animation is so stiff too. It looks like Family Guy animation. To echo how like, how shallow this scene is, they made the animation shitty as well. War is officially over. Ronaldo? Ronaldo's girlfriend. He actually had a GF. He did have a GF. Keep Beach City single. Jane, my Ohime-sama. <gasps> Ohime-sama. No. Dude, he's an anime GF. Okay, guys. If Ronaldo can get a girlfriend, what's stopping you? I'm not sexy AF like him. Shut the fuck up. Hello, gentlemen. May I take your order? Whoa! I guess they order the hot fucking waitress. Goddamn. Oh, I'm here for Pearl, man. I'm here for Pearl. The ketchup is inside the fries. Food Wars? Are they gonna have a food gasm like in Food Wars? I don't want to see that. You want me to close my lovely establishment? You'll drive us out of business. There's already a line. Onion appears. We have to drink. Their solution to everything is like, just don't compete. Both of them are such shit restaurants that they literally cannot deal with competition from a fucking 12 year old. The Onion Gang. Oh, yes! This is unironically the best episode of the show. It's so stupid, but it never fails to make me laugh. Perhaps stop and do something else? This is like the stupid neighbor that your mom forces you to hang out with, but Steven's doing it out of his own volition. Because Steven is his mom, so he has to be that person for himself. That's fucked. Not knowing any other kids his age, but luckily he had his friend Steven, who would kindly donate some time to a youth in need. He's the motherfucker that goes to the homeless shelter every weekend and feels like so fucking like uppity about it. Like I am donating, like I'm so cool. I was thinking it's like the YouTuber who goes to Africa and is like, man, we made such a difference today. Where are we? Why is every onion shot so hard? Like half of the onion shots he has are like slow-mo. Garbanzo. Best character, Garbanzo. Best character in the show. Since you're named after a bean, then the baby on your back must be... Pinto. How the fuck did he guess that? And your name is... Oh. Squash. So did like every like special needs kid like parent just name them after like vegetables? Like wh why is that? Why is that the trend? That's weird. That's like segregation. Onion just has a squad full of nonverbal autistic friends. Is that safe? Garbanzo. Bro, imagine being Garbanzo's voice actor. What a dream. Do you think he said it multiple times or do you say it once? It's a unique delivery for every line. 
Gar Garbanzo. No, Garbanzo, he's gonna die. Garbanzo's dying. <laughs> no, Garbanzo. Pinto has healing powers. Why'd you nudge me and wink like this was all a big joke? Dude, why is Steven so stupid in this episode? <gasps> he's so fucking dumb. This is season four. Four. He has been through so much shit. Steven does not fuck with the Blue Beetle movie. No one fucks with the Blue Beetle movie, bro. That movie's gonna make two dollars in the box office. I don't want to kill one. I'm sorry. I'm going home. Whoa. Rare onion sound moment. He said ma. Oh my goodness, he said ma, cause Steven is his own mother and he's Onion's mother. What the fuck does that mean? Rose had a second kid. No, Onion, just leave me alone. You don't have to play with me anymore. Steven's depressed cause he got in a fight with like a group of six year old autistic children. <laughs> this episode sucks. I was the lonely boy. I. Hey, what's going on? They're packing up shop. They're packing up the squashes, bro. No, not the squashes. Oh, I, I get it now. You guys only come to Beach City during the summer months. Dude, how the fuck is Steven intuiting all this so quickly? I get it now. Leaf. Garbanzo. Well, a garbanzo. <laughs> this episode sucks. I'll never forget you all. Aw, oh, Onion. Never mind, he's the goat. I'm switching up at the best episode of the show, Onion Goat. We are the crystal gems. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I think Ronaldo, if he was a YouTuber, he would probably have a million subs. He would garner such a niche audience. He'd be like Nostalgia Critics here. I think Ronaldo would have such a big following. Oh, he's so gay. What the fuck are those wrists, bro? And I'll drink to that. I'll protect myself from the menace that threatens Beach City. How to protect yourself against rock people? Wait, that's my people. Bro, why? Ronaldo is literally just racist. Like, he just wants to be racist. Everyone makes mistakes. Just as long as you realize that the Crystal Gems and I aren't that different from you. He's really the cool, like, friend. Like, your friend's racist to you and you're just like, you know, as long as you're not racist again, we're chill. And then Ronaldo shows up with blackface, like, two moments later, bro. Like, that's it. That's literally this episode. To be an outsider. That's why I'm joining the Crystal Gems! Give him a ukulele. I have to apologize for some things I've said recently. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not a racist. Pissed, I'm just racist. <laughs> you did have those allegations, bro. We do not fuck with Ronaldo on this channel. Like, like, Bloodstone! Perfect. That's your crystal gem name. It's like everybody, when they think they're cool, it's always something with blood. When I was a kid, I had like a role play like name, and it was Core Fire Blood Stone Sword. Ugh. That's cringe. They're going out like that. I just think a real crystal gem would want to show off their gem, like- Oh my god, racist ass bitch. This is such a racism allegory. But they made him gay. He was like, if you're really a gem, you'd be gay. You'd be wearing the crop top, Steven. <gasps> Ugh! Bloodstone. Okay, someone clipped that scene, like, out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo, what did you do to Steven? Bloodstone, ever since you got here, all you've done is boss me around. I like that even when he's shitting on Ronaldo, he's still called him by his gem soda name. He is so woke, he'll even call him by his bullshit gem soda name, even though he's culturally appropriating his people. That is the level of woke Steven is operating at, and there is no person on this planet that will ever surpass Steven's wokeness. <laughs> Amethyst? <laughs> Yo, I didn't even say anything. This is the worst episode of the show. <laughs> what the fuck were they on? Who storyboarded this? This isn't the Bloodstone Club about making Bloodstone feel good. This is my whole life. Steven is more emotionally mature than like most teenagers. Than a literal adult. White boy is his delusion is dismissed for the first time. Bloodstone. Oh, hey Steven. Are you all right? I haven't seen you in 
three weeks. Oh my God, that shot is so hard. That's one of the hardest Ronaldo moments in the entire show. Steven should have a similar relationship he has with Ronaldo with the diamonds. Am I wrong? Yeah, he should kill Ronaldo. Yeah, he should kill Ronaldo. I'll make a video essay about that, that Steven should have killed Ronaldo in this episode. That episode is so bad. I mean, I think it is the lowest rated episode of the entire show. I think I did a review of that. A few minutes later. Ooh, ooh, no! Six years ago, Core, I found my review of this episode. The filler was gonna come eventually, and it came. But I enjoyed this episode. That was funny. <laughs> I really like Ronaldo as a character. He's really, he's a really funny character. Brings a lot to the show. Brings a he's a funny character. Brings a lot to the I show. Love. I liked the episode. Turn it off. Turn it off. Always save the day. Oh, we have to drink. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself. Core, be honest with me. Is this a Trump episode? Yes. This is literally Trump versus Hillary. What a wild ride that was. And uh. I'm really happy to see you again. Oh, this is the context for when they broke up. Remember they went to that crazy Kevin pedophile party or whatever? No. Yeah, when they broke up their very good friendship. It was a tough decision for me to make. But it had to be done. I think Hitler said the same thing, yeah. Just like Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer said the same thing, Stephen. I am become death, destroyer of gems. Lars is still in space! He's with some very nice gems who were on the run from their homeworld overlord. Bro, that's her boyfriend, bro. Bro, just because they f***ed once or twice doesn't mean they're dating, okay, man? Well, to Sadie, bro, she had a kid. Look at her, she's crying. <laughs> you told his parents, right? You're kind of my practice run for that. Dude, Steven has to do so much shit. Imagine being 14 years old and having to tell your friend's parents that they're never coming home. Like, what the fuck is that? Do we want Joey? Yes! Do we want Joey? Yes! Oh, that looks great, but I may need more. Dewey did not grab Paradox, Paradox by the pussy, bro. He promises. <laughs> he didn't do it. It wasn't him. Grab him by the pussy. Oh, what about my friend Lars? Huh? Arnion was like, who's Lars? Arnion showed up. We have to take a drink. The donut boy? Is that why the donut shop was closed this morning? <laughs> Is that why the donut shop was closed? Why does Steven care about Mayor Dewey staying in office? He's like a bad person and bad at his job. Like he should not be in office. We're gonna get through this together, okay? Tomorrow is the big debate. He's the one friend who stuck with the YouTuber who got canceled, bro. You may think you're a loser, but I think you're just a groomer. <laughs> you might think that being a mayor is a fine and glamorous sort of thing. I can understand why my opponent would want the position. You think Nana is gonna freeze up in the middle of her speech like Mitch McConnell? And she's still gonna win somehow. <laughs> when aliens steal people, it's the mayor's fault. What, what weirds me out is like, how doesn't everyone in this town know that the gems exist? They just don't care. It's like when they said that we aliens are real and like everybody didn't care. Like that's, that's Beach City. And ask that we share responsibility for the welfare and safety of Beach City together. Amen, Nana Fua. You might have five years left to live, but you're my president. I really believe in us. Well, you were wrong. He was wrong. Just like he was wrong about like choosing to leave with Connie. It's like a good full circle moment where he was wrong at the beginning of the episode. This is like a classic Steven Universe episode where he has like trauma and then he takes it out on someone else by trying to solve someone else's problem. This is a good episode. We can't include this in a bad episodes video, but that shit was good. But Connie left him on red and that's bad. Leaving someone on red is bad. So don't leave them on red and send them a link to the new video and watch that right now. Thanks to our patrons at patreon.com slash spilling the milk. Alejandro Peredit, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stolk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gurney Snail, Jonas, and Helio, I Pig, Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Solomon Graber, Native 5, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tieran Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit.